Uh, but before I start praying, uh, Cha, I think you want to say uh, just your final uh, words for for your testimony. You you want to close your testimony before we start praying and proceed to the lesson. I I just want to give. I just want to acknowledge that the Lord truly cares about us. That He is ever so mindful of us. He really will not let. He will never forsake us. And even, even, even in the darkest, scariest moments, He is there. He is there. He will see us through. And I know we will overcome um, because it's His promise. He said so. His well, I declare, I declare, I, uh, Jeremiah 42 verse 10, if you will still remain in this land, then I will build you and not pull you down. And I... And I will plant you and not pluck you up, for I relent concerning the disaster that I have brought upon you. So, Father, we just join our hearts to declare your faithfulness over us. We thank you, Papa, that we can call you Dad, we can call you Abba, we can call you Father. And just hold on to your word. We declare your word over Sis Cha and their entire family. We declare, Father, right now, supernatural protection for their house in Provident. That it will be shielded. All the houses, you know, might be, uh, you know, flooded. But this next time, if, if there's ever going to be a next time, it won't happen supernaturally Amen. we declare just a force field yes. over their place we declare just angels over around them and we just declare your word over sis cha and their entire family so father i thank you lord for the life oh lord that you've given each and every one of us thank you father for the lives that are here tonight Thank you, Father, for the life of Sis Cha, that they're here, Lord, that, that it's a miracle that they're actually, you know, that she's testifying right now. And Father, I pray, Lord, that you bless them, keep them, expand their borders, touch them with your hand, and keep them away from any danger, any natural disasters, any evil, or any pain. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 I know you could go on and on, you know, just, just telling. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry to, cut, to cut you off there, but uh, actually, this is going to be a short lesson, guys. It's it's uh, it's about the water baptism. So. Yeah, it's not it's not it's not the water baptism that you experience, okay? And that might be another type of water baptism. <laughs> that was a a, a medio something else, yeah, something else. But uh well uh has everybody here been water baptized? If you have, maybe you could just raise your hand. Everyone, right? Water baptized. Has everyone? Yeah, okay. Or right, I'm seeing thumbs up there. So I think all of us here. Oh, okay, Trisha mentioned not yet. We think we have a few who have not yet been water baptized. So that's perfect. But uh, actually, I want to... Uh, this This particular topic is not your usual... Uh, you know, orientation for water baptism. So, but typically, uh, especially if you grew up in a, what, Baptist or an evangelical denomination, uh, it's, it's automatic. It is actually the highlight of the denomination. If you're going to get water baptized, it calls for a celebration. It, it, it calls for uh, you know, just just uh, uh, rejoicing, right? And 
what, what, what is the reason why we get water baptized? Can we go to Mark chapter 16, verse 16? Actually, one of my favorite verses. Let's read verse 15 first. So Mark chapter 16, verse 15. So let me read it for you guys here. Sino ba nandun? Si Jordan yata, excited magbasa eh. Gusto mo basahin, Jordan? Opo, sige po bro. Alright, sige. Verse 15. Mark chapter 16 verse 15 says, ah, 6, verse, ah, Mark 16, 16 po. 15. Mark 16, 15. He said to them, Go into the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes is and this baptized will be saved, but whoever doesn't believe will be condemned. All right, thank you so much for sharing that. So, uh, are you guys familiar with this verse? If you guys are not yet familiar with this verse, this is also part of the Great Commission. Actually, this is the Great Commission, but we're so used to Matthew 28, you know, 18 to, 9, to 20, right? But this is also the Great Commission. It says there, but go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. What's so, the word save? What's the word save? Secho. Of so, course, so. your favorite word. <laughs> your favorite, also, word. Your favorite <laughs> Greek word. <laughs> and that's sozo. That's, a, that's, that's our favorite Greek word, right? Like the moment you encounter this word, that's the word saved. But you know, we can we can talk about this, you know, the entire evening. Pero let me go back. It says here, the uh, he who believes and is baptized. Do you guys realize that there are some denominations that say for you to be saved, you need to first believe and be baptized. So this is what they use. Have you guys any have have any of you come across anyone? Who was debating you about salvation and showing you this verse? Maybe not in our realm. Actually, see you mga apostolic ganon. That's what they believe in. You mga apostolic, they believe, some of them believe that you have to be baptized as well before you're saved. Which is uh, you know, I wanna I wanna go to scripture right now and just show you guys that that's not what it says here. This is not uh, you know, precisely what it says, but some people, some believers use it for them to, uh, you know, uh, talk about salvation. So salvation, it says here that he who believes and is baptized will be saved. So he who believes first and is baptized. So the first requirement is you have to believe. So going back to water baptism, of course, that's our topic. Water baptism, there is a requirement for water baptism. So what is the requirement for water baptism? Anyone? You have to first believe, right? So when you believe, believe in who? Believe in Jesus Christ, right? John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he who, who gave, you know, how does that go? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So who believes? You will not die. You have everlasting life. So everyone who believes is saved. Okay, that's what it says. That's what it says in John 316 and then even if you go to verse 17 Jesus did not come into this world to condemn you but in order that you might be saved it's the same word again used in Mark 16 in order for you to be saved so why do people some people say that you have to be baptized if you remember the story of John the Baptist John the Baptist baptized before Jesus came, right? He baptized in water. And what was his baptism? 
it was the baptism of repentance. So imagine, guys, imagine a believer. The moment you step into church, you believe in Jesus Christ, and then you become a churchgoer. And then you become, you know, you have a group, you attend conferences, you do this, you do that. There's so many things that you can do inside a church. But most of the time, you know, when water baptism comes, it's like just that, you know, that, that tick, that box on the list that you have to do for you to what? For you to be part of this certain group. You know what I mean? Like sometimes this, this part of what I have to do, I just have to, you know, do this. But what is the requirement? for water baptism. The moment you believe, who did you believe in? Jesus Christ. So when we believe, guys, as a born-again Christian, what that means is that you develop a relationship with the Lord. You get to know Him. Because before, you didn't know Him. Now Jesus came to earth for us, for, for him to establish back our relationship to the Father. But one thing that's happening right now is that we're not developing a relationship back to the Father. What's happening is that we're having relationship with what? With the church. Nothing wrong with it. We grow. We grow with the church. We grow with other people. We grow listening. We grow you know, as, as individuals. Pero were you ever taught to go directly to the Father for you to start your relationship with Him? Yes, we were. We were taught naman. Pero parang ang hirap. Di ba? Bakit, bakit ang hirap? How come I can't have that relationship with Him? How come He's still like so far away? He's still like billions and millions and trillions of galaxies so far away that when 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 you know when you pray you know you you just hear someone pray you don't know how to pray and then you see somebody praying lord how are you <laughs> like you don't even know how he is you know like, oh i'm not doing well but like sometimes you don't know how to pray you you, you just speak and he's just so far off. But this is one of the basic things that we have to understand. As a believer, we need to establish back our relationship with the Father. But the thing is, there's no revelation of that. There's no understanding of that. And that's the thing. That's why there's no repentance. So, what is water baptism? I'm going to go back to Mark 16 later, but uh, if we go to Acts chapter 2, verse 38, let's go to Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Let me pull that up really quick. I'm using the New King James. So, let me read it for you guys. It says in 38, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, guys, when you were baptized, let me ask you, before, before, before you were baptized, did you repent? I mean, not, not just like a, not just like repent from you know, oh my Lord, parang, ba, like sometimes you'll encounter some people who will have a hard time, but there's a breakout, there's a retreat, but they're not fully decided yet because they still want to do that favorite thing that they want to do, 
you know, I'm not yet sure. I, I'm still undecided. I don't think I can commit. Is that repentance, guys? That's, that's hardly repentance yet. Brother Ron, you know, shared about repentance uh, two weeks ago. And uh, if you guys, you know, were here, it's, it's a powerful message. What is repentance? It's a decision that we need to make. Not the same direction, another direction. But it's not 360 degrees. You know, I always thought of it as a 180 degree. But you turn away already. But it's easy to 180 degree. Instead of moving forward, you're just going backwards. Like, it's, it's wrong. Like, you know, you, you flip and then you go back. But the best way is like, just turn another direction. Not the same direction that you were going. But repentance is just going sidestep. You know, iwasan na yung, yung kasalanan. Iwasan na natin yung flesh. Diba? Iwasan natin. It's a decision. Hindi mo naman matuturn kagad yung flesh eh. Kasi nandiyan pa siya. Pero it's a decision. That's what repentance is. And do you know guys, that this is the requirement for water baptism. There are other requirements that I can mention. But uh, what is water baptism? What is water baptism? Anybody just want, want to share? Maybe you can unmute your mic. It's a public declaration of your faith in Jesus. Public de declaration, exactly. Anybody else? Brother Alex? Obedience. Obedience, Obedience to God. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, no. Well, let's go to Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I'll just show you guys this scripture here. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. Let me read it for you guys. Uh, it says here, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. So guys, baptism, water baptism, is a declaration, but at the same time, it's an expression or act of faith that was carried out at the time that the person turned to Jesus in repentance and faith. So, it is a public declaration, but this is it, guys. This is what Jesus did. Jesus was the exact definition. But he didn't start his ministry before he got baptized. The only difference was Jesus was baptized, water baptized, and at the same time, he was commissioned by, by, you know, by God to start his ministry. And he was baptized in the Holy Spirit as well. So I believe we can also do this eh? I believe we can also do this, you know, like it's, it's just, uh, you know, we'll just follow what Jesus did. But, but uh, if ever anyone is, uh, you know, debating you that, you know, there's no Holy Trinity in the Bible, there's no, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's no exact uh, explanation of that. Actually, this is the exact explanation of that. If you go to that passage, uh, you'll see here that uh, the Father, you know, said but that uh, this is my son who in whom i am well pleased and the holy spirit and the son was there at that moment so if we need an explanation of the holy trinity this is the best one it's in all three uh gospels I, actually all four but i have to confirm that i think it's in some it's it's uh worded uh not clearly but this is what happened when when we get water baptized, it's already stepping into what? Into that calling. Guys, if you have a calling, do you know what it is? Do you know what your primary calling is? Anybody wants to unmute their mics and just help me out and, you know, participate? 
Baha, you could just unmute and shout your answer. Okay, well, I'm gonna sis chat, you're unmuted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is this is a personal parang um parang revelation ng the Holy Spirit sa akin after reading in the Genesis uh, the, the 128 where, where God uh, essentially gave us um, dominion. He, he gave us the uh, what? The responsibility, the authority you know, to um, take he bring heaven on earth. Um, our, our purpose is bringing back we are partnering with jesus we are partakers of his divine nature and we are being sent forth to, to redeem in his behalf the fallen you know fallen mankind that's yes yes i, I don't know super that's what I super, feel is super our purpose. exactly that's exactly it that's our primary purpose guys is just to establish back our relationship back to the father that's our calling, guys. That's our primary calling. It's to do that. If there's a ministry that we have, it's a ministry of intimacy with the Lord. And this is what we need to strive for. We, we go after the Lord. We come after Him, you know, like five minutes long. Pero yung walang distractions, walang, you know, whatever. Just you and the Lord. And you know what? This is what water baptism is, guys. It's like the moment na magpa-baptize tayo, boom! I just want you, Lord. That's it. That, this is my expression of faith. Lord, ayoko na ng mundo. This is what the expression of our faith should be, is that I'm stepping in to a realm that I don't know anything about. You don't have to know. It's faith nga. You cannot see it, diba? Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. So this is the realm of faith that, Lord, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just stepping into faith. I don't want this old life that I used to live in. I repent. I'm sorry. And Lord, baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire. But that will come. That will come. But this is the water baptism. That's a separate, you know, there will be a desire. But this is when we long for you know, that intimacy. And if we go to Acts chapter 22, verse 16, it's Acts chapter 22, verse 16. Let me read it to you guys. And now it's Saul, who's uh, actually Paul, who's talking here. And now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. So what was that, Setra? It's Acts 20. chapter 22, verse 16. Sorry, I went ahead. I went ahead and <laughs> went to the verse. I love how we just go to the scripture, right? Like slowly. It might take a few seconds or a few minutes for others. Pero, di ba, mas maganda pinupuntahan natin yung, ano, yung word by itself. Oh, welcome back, Angel. We see, we see you. We, we saw your report last time. Medyo matindi yung report mo. <laughs> Grab. That was intense. <laughs> so, uh, and then if we could go to First Peter, guys, chapter 3, verse 21. So, Bap water baptism is an expression or act of faith that, that was carried out at the time that a person turned to Jesus in repentance and faith. Okay, so if you want to write that down, guys. Baptism, water baptism is an expression or act of faith that was carried out at the time that a person turned to Jesus in repentance and faith. But before we go to First Peter, let's go back to Mark 16. Because this is, ano, this is a mark of a true believer. What does it say there? I think Brother Nick already memorized this. 
And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents, serpents with, and their hands. with their hands. And even if they drink any, any deadly drink. poison, that it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they, and will, they will heal, recover. recover. Something like awesome, that. Awesome, man. You, you remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I thought you were, you were quoting the New King James. That's the New King James version. Awesome, man. I, I use that verse so much, man. Yeah. It's diba? stuck inside my head already. Guys, di ba na baptized na tayo? We have already believed in Jesus Christ and we are saved. Pero how come I don't see anyone casting out a demon, healing the sick when they get bitten by a snake? They don't go directly to the hospital. They're just saved. You know what I mean? Parang, minsan, ano lang eh, di ba? Like, we don't literally have to get bitten by a snake. Pero yung, like, tap water. For me, tap water. Like, ako, I don't care. Well, you know, right now we're in Japan, so I don't really care. It's clean. Pero, like, pero, 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 you know, in the Philippines, I don't care. You know, I, I would care. You know, of course, it's wisdom also. We need to practice wisdom. You know, we, we it's, it's you know, cheap water there. You could get easily, the right? distilled water for a good price. You know, we practice wisdom. But like, man, I just think, I like street food. Like, you know, I just go there, I eat, you know, and I just bless the food. It's But if you just bless it, nothing will harm you. You know what? Not one time, never in my life did I ever had, uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, never in my entire life. Because of eating food. Because I always thank the Lord for it. I bless it in Jesus' name. Oh, Ate Oz, you want to share? Can, can, I, can I ask? Sure. Uh, in, ano, sa yung, the one you're teaching now, um, it's ano, pertaining to that. Before, kasi yung charismatic, yung Catholic, they bless the food, pero it's full of oil. I mean, pork, yung fat, ganyan, kalaki. If you, you just bless it and the cholesterol will go. But I don't believe that, di ba? <laughs> Siguro kung street food pa at gutom ka, you, you bless it na walang bacteria kasi wala kang makain. Pero yun talagang sinadya, I mean, pinalengke, at alam na ganun, tapos ibe-bless mo para walang cholesterol, that's, that's false, di ba? No, I'm just asking it, now. It, it doesn't make no, sense kasi can, you're eating... it can be. <laughs> Pwede? No. Pero ano, you're eating pork, okay. eh. There's cholesterol, di ba? Uh, no. I'll, 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 I'll do this. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'll do this. Kaya na, na-steer you. I'll attempt to answer that. I think everything boils down to to your faith as mm. well. I right? finished the whole bag of chicharron, Ina. Ni Ina. Ina <laughs> oh my God. Ng, ng I Wala, ate it ina all. Po, we're, we're, like, we're, burping, we're burping chicharron. We, we had chicharron breath for a while. <laughs> Repentance. It was, it was still worth it. Yeah. No, but but it's, it's this. The... As what you mentioned about street food or or eating eating fat, nasaan ka? And why are you doing it, right? Yeah, but, yeah. That there will be some people that that just have absolutely no discipline as well mm. yes. with regards to taking care of their bodies, that treating yeah. their bodies as a holy temple of the Lord. Yeah. There's that difference, and there's the man. Kung wala ka ng makain and yun lang yung mga kain mo sa palagay mo, it, it's gonna it's gonna harm you. That's that's another thing. I use that same verse, Mark 16, poison, <laughs> that it will not harm them. You're laughing, but like, chemotherapy <clears throat> is harmful. Yeah, that's poison. Yeah. But, but they, some, some people, of course, they, they won't have the faith to, to rebuke yeah. cancer. 
So no choice. Then jan sila. The they're, they're, they're in that yeah. in that predicament. So what do you do? Uh, I've shared this um, a few times that how many people actually bless the supplements that they take, bless the, the medicine that they take if need be. Very mm-hmm. few because you expect that paracetamol to, to address work. your headache. Yeah. You 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 expect that that um you know cough syrup to address your cough. But very few people would actually bless it. So parang ganun din as far as that. So go on. Uh masyado na tayong lumayo dun sa <laughs> but, that's, but that's the whole point, you know, Chicharon is, you know, Jesus has already cleansed it. Diba? The old things have passed away and the new things have come, diba? Pero syempre, don't eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, diba? For an entire three months. I mean, one week pa lang, mararamdaman mo na yung batok mo. <laughs> diba? it, we need to practice wisdom. Pero, uh, oh, amen to coffee. Yeah. Uh, amen to that, man. <laughs> but, like, but like, this is it, guys. Like, we... We know believers, they believe in Jesus Christ. They've been water baptized. But how come when they lay their hands on the sick, nothing happens? Because they pray, Father, if it be your will to heal, Heal. But if it not, let thy will be done. Mm, I don't know where, where in the Bible is that, right? I've never seen that in the Bible before. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. Is it just me? Or have you ever encountered? I was in a seminar. We were, you know, all lined up to pray for people. Your first orientation sa sabihin is that do not declare that they are healed. First time, first time I ever went there. And I, like, I was like, what? But we're going to be praying for healing? But do not declare that they are healed. So I was like, okay. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Because it says in Mark 16, verse 18, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. For who? For whoever believes. Guys, do we believe? If we believe, we can lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And when we lay hands, what what do we do? We speak to the sickness. Mark 11.23. It says, speak to your mountain. Right? So kung may sakit, ano yung sakit? Ikaw, sakit. I speak to you. I command you to get out, lay your hands, and they will recover. In the name of Jesus. How? If you believe. So this is not for unbelievers. Okay, guys? If you're a believer, better you don't believe in healing. I think you're also an unbeliever. Right? Pwede natin silang consider as an unbeliever. Right? Because <laughs> they don't believe what's written in the Bible. Can I highlight what what Setro just shared? The the Mark uh, it was eleven, you know, Mark eleven twenty three. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Um, that's the that's that's one of the bigger difference. I guess it's a it's also a revelation that you need to receive because otherwise you will still be praying a double-minded prayer mm. you will still be mimicking parroting how you know the likes of setro manny does it and many many people will will do that so my makita mo unang una it requires the faith part to its addressing commanding the condition your mountain to move did you move 
you didn't move. The mountain moves. Kayo yung guma, uh, siya yung gumalaw, you stay. Right? So it, it, it requires faith, but it also requires us to, to command. Yun yung, to speak. To speak out it says, loud. Whoever yes. says. Yes. Whoever says. You have to speak out loud. Yeah. So, so it's no different from Romans uh, 10 9. Confess, therefore, with. Oh, your we're going to go there. We're going to go there. Right, right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Go on. We're going to go there. So, uh, perfect. Like we could build this whole evening just talking about that. But this is what we have to do. The better instruction. Easy. Diba? No complications. We don't need to overthink it. We don't need theology or exegesis or anything like that. But we just have to take it plainly. Simply lang. Simply lang. Diba? Wag na natin i-complicate. Diba? Just read it. Okay. It, it says here that I can lay hands on the sick and speak new tongues, guys. If you guys haven't tried speaking in new tongues yet, desire it. Want it. Okay, we're going to be talking about that in, you know, the future. But this is, you know, it says here, speak new tongues. What new tongue? <laughs> what kind of tongue? Is my tongue supposed to grow longer or something like that? No, it is your heavenly language. You have a heavenly language. Do you believe it? If you believe, it will happen. You will be speaking to God directly. So I just wanted to highlight a little bit about that. And, uh... This is what we, we need to do. And if we can go to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21, so we can start building on this. But we're talking about water baptism, palang guys. Water baptism. It's an expression of your faith. Baptism is an act that expresses one's faith in Jesus. So we know a lot of people. Who have already been baptized, but why are we not expressing our faith? Parang yung immediate understanding natin, the moment you've been water baptized and you 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 went up, you already express your faith. That's it. No, guys, that's just the beginning. Nagsisimula pa lang yung expression of faith natin, and now the Bible is telling you to cast out demons, heal the sick. Raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, preach the gospel, the full gospel. And what else? What is the purpose why we why we are water baptized? Can you please read it? Medyo, uh, there's a hard to uh, understand word here, which in the King James, uh, New King James, it says, if you have another translation, uh, Please be prepared. Oh, Jordan, what translation do you have? Uh, NIV po, brosecho. Okay, can you read that translation? Okay. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a good conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes. So it says there, Deba, that it saves you. Deba, saves you. Why, why saves you? Actually, the word there in the NIV was mentioned as, uh, what do you call it? Uh, symbolized deba, in the NIV. Here in the New King James, it says here, there is also an antitype which now saves us. Baptism. Not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So the word anti-type there, I was, you know, there's only two passages in scripture. Oh, here, uh, corresponding to baptism, saves you not the removal of the dirt. It must saves you not. I think that's the NLT, you know, that's the NLT. And what it's saying here is that the anti-type, you know, from from what I've been able to gather, it saves your conscience. So yung conscience natin, guys. The moment you have been water baptized, it's an expression of your faith. It's a declaration of your faith. Diba? And it's a, an act of faith for us to, you know, to express our faith in Jesus Christ. And 
what what does it save us from our old conscience? Diba? Our conscience before was what? Saan ba, saan ba patungo yung konsensya natin? Sa sarili. Diba? Or sa, mga, sa, sa mundo. Pero now, having, having, you know, having to express our faith in Jesus Christ, now we have a cleared conscience na hindi ko na kailangan bumalik dun sa dati. All I need to do now is just declare right now who I am. It's not starting to just declare in faith that I have a new conscience. I want to express my faith in Jesus Christ. So it's taking away the old conscience and just realizing that I now have a clean conscience. Kung dati yung, yung konsensya mo, for example, you did something wrong. Diba? I don't know what it is. It's between you and the Lord. Okay? But whatever it is, diba? maybe even up to now, we have already been water baptized. We've already done this, done that. But up to now, our conscience is not yet clear. Why? Why are we still being condemned by our conscience? Our flesh might still be condemning us or we still have a misunderstanding of our sinful nature. Brother Nick, Ron, you want to... Ron, Ron, um, in the chat box. Oh, yeah. I couldn't read it. Eh. Oh, you're, you're mobile. Uh, Ron added... Uh, that it is not the act of immersion in the water, but, but the, the heart, heart decision, uh, yes. appeal to God to come to Christ. This is what saves us. Yes, there you go. Exactly. Very clear. Very clear and, and just concise that this is the decision that we make. The moment we are water baptized, that decision should have already been there. But did we make that appeal to God? Did we, did we, you know, clear our conscience? Kasi pagka, pagka na-baptize ka na, and then meron ka pa rin konsensya? Diba? Like, like parang you did something wrong, or maybe you, you know, whatever it is in the past, if it's still there, that means that we had the misunderstanding of what water baptism is. So, you know, going back to uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. So just to, okay. Yes, it's, it's not a requirement, not at all. We were, we were breaking that down earlier because, uh, you know, it says in Mark 16 that uh, whoever believes and is baptized, we were, we were breaking down Mark 16 also because some, uh, you know, apostolic, denominations use that diba? so uh, one thing about it is that let's go to let's go to Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10 we'll we'll wait for your uh, inputs bro we'll wait for your inputs brother Ron so I think Nick knows this verse from his heart like most of us do. So it's Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Let me read it for you guys. It says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So that's the only requirement for us to be saved. Okay, so what it's saying here is that all we need to do is just believe in the Lord Jesus and you are saved. And I guess just to, just to compare it to Mark 16, it was saying there because that whoever believes and is baptized. So you see this habit to and is baptized is that if we are baptized, we should have a clear conscience already. It is not 
what saves us, but it helps us. You know, when we are baptized and we have a clear conscience, it saves us from having a corrupted mindset. Kailangan clear na yung conscience natin. Kailangan you are fully decided. Kailangan, you know, like Brother Nick spoke about commitment the other Tuesday. And that's what it is. But like we're stepping into a relationship with the Lord. We're stepping into the realm of faith. And this is what water baptism is. That is a decision to step in faith. And to express it. But after that expression of faith, it's not just a one-time expression. It's a continuous expression of his faith. If you want to shout, if you want to throw up your hands when you got water baptized, that's great. You know, you could get a picture for it. You know, maybe get it in slow-mo if that's what you want. But what about, you know, the next days? What about the, the succeeding days? What do we need to do to express our faith? Right? We need to preach the gospel to ourselves. We need to cast out demons, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, and believe in the word of God. And just one final statement, guys, is that faith is dead when people are unwilling to express it. Problem is na baptized na tayo. Pero masaya na tayo for expressing it one time. Especially if you have been, you know, grew up in a, a Baptist denomination or evangelical denomination. Most of the time, the expression of faith ends there. Right? Or is it, is it just me? Like, I've never seen another expression of faith besides that. Like, I don't know, like, right? Like, it, it doesn't happen. So this is the expression of our faith. It begins in water baptism. But we are commissioned. We go back to Mark 16. And uh, I just want to share uh, this final verse in, uh, well, in James chapter 2, verse 18, 19, let's go here. James chapter 2, verse 18 to 19. Uh, Setra, Trisha wants to ask, can someone be baptized discreetly? You want to answer that? Uh, I don't know how discreetly you, you would want, want it, but uh, most of the time, if you're going all out for Jesus, you want to just declare it. Like, you know, to share my testimony, I was, when I was still, uh, you know, a new believer and I learned about water baptism, I was so excited to get water baptized. It was just, you know, my, my leader and myself and, and, and uh, uh, I don't think, my wife, you know, my, my wife right now was, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure if we were already uh, in a relationship. But yeah, I think we were already, we were in a relationship because we did it in their pool. So, so I got baptized that way. So, pero later on, you know, I joined the retreat to express my faith. You know, you could do it discreetly. If you're so, kumbaga, atat, di ba? Pag atat na atat ka na, gusto mo na gawin kahit sa bathtub, di ba? And if you're with somebody important, if you really want to do it, you know, it's not about being discreet. It's, it has to be stepping out already that you will declare your faith. This is what it means to declare your faith. We, you know, when we declare our faith, no turning back. We just step into it. Yeah, so, because I don't know, for one, I don't know what, what the discreetly uh, means as well. Because one, the eunuch <laughs> did it with Philip and it was basically just the two of them, right? There was, it wasn't like a public spectacle. So I don't know yung definition mo. Ron added, usually happens in areas with severe persecution against Christians. That does make sense, right? Like uh, you, you guess, can't yes. make a public uh, declaration of of your your surrendering 
to to Jesus Christ because you're you're gonna get persecuted. Uh, other than that, can you add to that? That's wisdom, That's wisdom, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's wisdom. Yeah, I, I was just prompted by what Brother Ron has written in the chat box. Now, um, it's not the act of the immersion in the water, but the heart decision. And uh, in my heart, I, I really wanted that. Uh, I want to experience the water baptism because I want to really declare. But I live in a home where my entire family are Catholics. And you know, what? Uh, I, I always remember what Paul said that if we are, if we want to win them, uh, you, uh, do, let's not be harsh sa pagde-decide para sa uh, for me so when when brother ron um cited this in the chat box that um our heart's decision our appeal to god to come to christ is uh, the most important and i feel na if can i do it on my own in my house in in, in since um there's um still uh this pandemic, I cannot go uh, um, elsewhere where I can fast or can anyone, any pastor do this or should I, I pick or, or should, can I do it uh, through phone, something like that? <laughs> because well, I have, I can't, I can't declare it. Really. And I can feel your, your uh, excitement for this, Trisha. And, you know, uh, it's, it's something, I know, it's something that you can plan out you know, it's nothing that you have to do because it doesn't require naman salvation. I, I was talking about how some denominations cause it require it, but believe and be baptized. So we don't believe in that. We believe that the moment you receive Jesus Christ, you are saved. But then you turn away from your sins, you have already been saved. But you know what? I think the guys here in the group can help you out with that. You know, just the schedule. I don't know where you live, Trisha, but if you're in Manila, you know, I'm sure hindi naman ganun kahirap magkita-kita and, you know, just a, a celebration. If, and if you want to just declare, ah, Nueva Ecija pala. Wow. You, you're all the way there. <laughs> yeah. So... I'll, I'll, I'll just read uh, Ron's reply for the sake of uh, us recording the, sure, the sure. video right now. Uh, Ron said, doesn't have to be a pastor. Usually baptism involves two or more people. Do it by faith. But don't shrink back because of fear of the approval of others. It depends on your intention. There you go. Yes. So instead of the action, it's your intention. But you're all the way pala in Nueva Ecija, Trisha, no? Uh, God sees your heart. He knows what you desire. And, uh, uh, you know, let me just go to, uh, before, you know, we, we go to for discussions, more discussions on this. Uh, let me just read this. It says in James chapter 2, verse 18, But someone will say, You have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. So, this is, you know, I'll just end with that verse, guys. I believe we know this verse. It's not by works that we are saved. It is by believing Jesus Christ. And in the moment, oh, my chicharon. So, the moment we believe in the Lord Jesus, then we are saved. And our expression of faith is, you know, it starts with, with baptism, water baptism. You know, it doesn't have to start with water baptism. You can start expressing your faith right right away. But when you start, when, when you get water baptized, I believe that this is where you just honor the Lord. It's one way for you to keep it it's one way for you to express it. And if we can express our faith, you know, with our words, our actions, and our life, then I believe water baptism should be just right around the corner. You're going you're gonna to want it if you haven't been water baptized. If you've already been water baptized, siguro ito lang yung sequence na, you know, 
alam ba natin kung bakit tayo na water baptize? So, uh, Seth, can I just say something? Sure. You know, you know, I love the discussion, and it's right, totally right. It's not a, you know, Seth Cho was right, and it's not a, it's not a requirement. Uh, it's not a requirement for for salvation because we're saved the moment we accept the Lord. If we confess, uh, believe in our heart, and confess with our mouth, you, you will be saved. Uh, that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Now, the water baptism is not a requirement. It is not a demand by God. It is not being demanded by God, but it, but it is a command. So we can say that it's not a, it's not a demand. It is a command. So it, it is good for us to really go through it uh, just to signify that we really indeed uh, belong to Jesus, identify to Jesus. Uh, many evangelicals say it is uh, the expression of your inward faith. Uh, again, it is not a requirement. You don't really need to do that. To, to express to other people, like what Setcho said, you know, with the uh, Ethiopian eunuch, it's just the two of them. But, but, you know, if you can see the Ethiopian eunuch, he was excited. The moment he received Jesus, he was excited to obey all that he has commanded, not because it is a requirement, but it's just out of love and out of reverence for Jesus. He's just so excited to obey the command. So, you know, naman. And I, I just want to add on to that, Pastor Manny, uh, yung conscience, di ba? The moment we express our faith, na parang wala nang ano eh, uh, in Tagalog, you know, I'm learning more Tagalog words now. Yung, yung hatol, di ba? Wala nang hahatol sa'yo. Hindi ka nahahatulan ng kalaban. The moment you, you express your faith in water baptism, dapat alam natin na, where am I standing? Di ba? San ba ako tumatayo ngayon? Yes. Am I standing in my salvation and by faith? Diba? That's why it says there, if you are baptized, you, you believe and you are baptized, then you are saved. It means that your conscience is clear that I know where I am. Yeah. I belong here. Yes. Yeah. That's the one. That, that, that's so what first, first Peter 3.21 is actually talking about. So... So, it's that, guys. So, no. That's the man. Yeah, no condemnation. You can wait. If, if you know, we're in lockdown, nobody else could do it. Maybe we can organize something uh, to go, you know, in the future. Once we're there, we'll call you and then we'll do it. So Online, we'll, no? We'll Online bring... water baptism. Yeah, or, you know... Uh, uh, yeah, no condemnation. Sure. Sis Ina, you, you have a question? Uh, kasi naalala ko lang kasi nung una ako magpa-water baptism. Kasi parang naging ano, nung Catholic pa ako, parang naging ano yun na parang naging ano yung water baptism, makonvert ka. Saan ba nang galing yun? Ba't ganun yung naging uh, pananaw nung iba na Naku, magkoconvert ka na yan. Kaya huwag kang magkapawater baptism kasi magkoconvert ka. Kasi yun yung naririnig natin karamihan sa iba. Saan ba nang galing yun? Ba't well, ganun yung naging... Uh, yeah, well, that, that's a wrong concept. That's a lie. Because uh, conversion, mm -hmm. you know, you don't get converted by what you do outside. You get converted by what uh, mm -hmm. Jesus did to you inside. So what you do outside is just an expression of what you have been already converted. So, so yeah, mm -hmm. people will say that, oh, na convert na yan. Because that person who mm -hmm. baptized, everybody saw that he or she made the decision to go all out already. So that's it. Yun lang yun. So, and I think also, yeah, you use uh, the Catholic faith, di ba? Pag baby ka pa, meron ng baptism. Baptism. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, dun palang uh, mali na eh, Kasi wala pang conscience, di ba? Wala pang alam kung ano yung mali mm -hmm. or tama, di ba? So, dun palang, how can you declare your faith or express your faith mm -hmm. without knowing what is right or wrong? So, uh, mm -hmm. yung na-experience yun, sis Ina, na meron palang ganun sa ano, Catholic din? 
na meron hindi ba sabi niya o oh, sige umatan ka diyan basta wag ka lang magpapa water baptism kasi mako-convert ka na pag napa water baptism ka sabi ko ha, ano ba yun tapos actually eh, nung umatan niya ako na retreat inexplain naman na hindi siya conversion public yeah. declare na tinanggap mo Jesus as Lord and Savior so ako na po water baptism ako hindi ko yung sinasabi nila na ganun yeah, kasi ganun yung naging ano ng iba Actually, re- recently nga lang, ano, uh, siguro two months ago, we also had a water baptism. And I think sila, sila mm-hmm. Brother Ron also had the water baptism. Mm-hmm. Kasama si Ate Oz. Yes. Ate Oz, nagpa-baptize mm-hmm. kayo, ano? So, Ako din, nagpa-baptize after, ulit. Kasi dala ko na yung truth. <laughs> yeah, hindi na. Diba? So, there's nothing wrong with being baptized again. Oh, but lalo na. Yes, oh, pang third know, time. <laughs> Yeah, diba? Lalo na right now, if if you just want to express your faith again, it doesn't matter once, twice, thrice, you know. But but you know, if you want to do it, it's it's fine because that that you know, I believe the it's the a Lord. privilege. Yeah, it's a privilege. It's a privilege, and it's a it's a beginning, diba? It's a new beginning. If you haven't been water mm-hmm. baptized yet, then start to desire it, diba? Start to desire it anew. If you want to be refreshed again by, uh, uh, you know, a water baptism, we did it. Uh, you know, sa parang spring tapos running water tapos so lamig ito. So pwede kang maagos sa alon sa sobrang lakas na. Sobrang lakas na kita mo Really wanted it. it. So, sobrang lamig oh. na tubig ng time na yun, but we did it. And uh, 